Françoise Chopin was born in a town close to Warsaw in Poland called Selasowa Wola in March 1st of 1810. His father, Nicolas Chopin, was a French professor who moved to Poland to be the tutor of the children of the Count Charbeck. While working at the house of Count Charbeck, he met Justina, one family member of the Count. They got married and had four children. The second one was Frederick. The atmosphere at the Chopin family was culture, serene, musical, and the kids were having music lessons since very early age. Chopin showed that much talent since he was very little that he was admitted into Warsaw Conservatory when he was 12 years old. When Frederick was about 20 years old, he moved to Paris. And it was hard for him because he was very close to his parents and his siblings. Before Frederick left to Paris, he got a little jar and put sand from Poland into the jar and took it with him. While in Paris, Chopin was part of the fanciest parties and group of people because everybody wanted to be around him and listen to his beautiful compositions. Life was tough in Paris and Chopin was stressed about his finances. So one time walking on the street, he found Prince Ratzewell. Prince asked him if he could be his piano teacher and Chopin was very happy because it was a very good pay enough for him not to worry again and keep composing. One of his good friends was Franz Liszt, another great composer from the Romantic period. When Chopin was 27 years old, he met the French novelist Aurora Dudevant. She would sign her poems as George Sand. She liked to dress like a man with suits and pants, and maybe because in that time there was no many opportunities for women, Chopin didn't like that. But then, guess what? A few months later, they were dating for a long time. She was not very nice to him. Chopin had a really, really rough time while being with her. Chopin and George Sand went to Spain and they stayed there for a few years where Chopin um, started composing many, many of his pieces, but he was also starting to be very sick. He had tuberculosis. George Sand wouldn't care much about him and his illness, and that was very devastating for Frederick. In 1848, Chopin traveled to England and Scotland to give concerts and raise funds to the refugees from Poland because, remember, there was a war in Poland. That cold in England and Scotland was not good for his health. Frederick Chopin died in October 17 of 1849 at 39 years old. The funeral service took place at the Church of La Madeleine in Paris. They say that the sand that Chopin brought with him from Poland was sprinkled in his grave when he died. He loved his country so much that that piece of Poland is still with him in his grave. Whenever you visit Paris, make sure you visit Chopin's grave at the cemetery Père Lachaise. You will see the grave that is one of the most beautiful. We will remember Chopin for the rest of our lives when we play or listen to his beautiful music.